Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jay from Sony Alpha Lab, and I'm down here at the Basher Kill, one of my favorite places to, uh, almost just tripped over a fence, one of my most favorite places to take pictures to when I, as I review cameras and stuff, and the road is closed. They're redoing the bridge or something, it looks like, so I figured I'm going to walk down there and use this opportunity to do a sample, you know, vlogging type sample with the new RX100 Mark 7. Before I get to that, please hit that subscribe button below. I really appreciate it. Also hit that notification bell. That will make sure that anytime I come out with a new video, you will get an email letting you know, oh, new video from uh, Sony Alpha Lab is out. And then in addition to that, below the video, there's a description area. Make sure you go to that description area and then hit the more info button or like, you know, there's like, sometimes there's an arrow if you're on a mobile app. If you open that up and all the information about the videos that I produce are below that. There's killer links in there for photography deals. All the gear I'm using in any given review or tutorial is in that description area below the video. And I really appreciate the support by clicking those links. It helps me out. So let's get on with this video. As you can see, this camera is awesome. It works really good. It's ultra compact and it's a good option for vlogging because now they added the mic input. And you can see it has active stabilization now in addition to the optical stabilization so when i'm walking the footage is fairly smooth i'm using an external mic here the roadie mic i will link to that below so you can get the model number i have a bracket underneath the rx100 that you can see in this photo that i'm putting up that's actually holding the mic and it's going in between the camera and the little sony grip that i'm using to hold the camera so just to give you a heads up of what's going on and i just wanted to show you how this performs and that's looking into the sun and it's just near sunset so you can see so you can see the lighting's a little better now that the sun is in my face if I walk backwards I want to go see if this bridge is out though so is this a good vlogging option well it's definitely a good vlogging option if you want a really high quality camera that can do pretty much everything and it's ultra compact it's very very lightweight but it's a lot of money and you're not really getting killer separation in the background. So it depends on what you're looking for. I would rather have something like the Sony a6400 personally, because that also has a flip up screen like this does. And it has the mic input as well. So that would be a better option because you can change lenses in my opinion, and you can definitely get much better background separation with that larger sensor. Now, if the background's really far away, you know, you can definitely get some separation, but if you look at this, like with these weeds right behind me, you know, they're not blurry or anything. They're pretty, pretty in focus. And you know, that's at the F 2.8 max aperture on this particular lens. Now the Sony RX 105 has a faster lens F 1.8, but the sensor is only one inch on the RX 100 series. So you're still limited with that smaller format sensor with the background separation, but 4k video quality is killer on this camera. Very, very sharp. And you could see the footage is pretty darn good and the ultra compactness and the fact that this camera can pretty much do everything with the 24 to 200 millimeter effective range it has and the ability to shoot 20 frames per second for sports so you could do sports you could do everything with this camera battery life isn't that good though super small battery so you know and it's expensive for what it is but if you're a vlogger and you're looking for something that's ultra compact in addition to maybe some other equipment with larger sensors you know you're looking for another camera for your you know suite this is a good option if you're looking for that ultra compact addition to let's say it's not really the ultimate vlogging camera in my opinion because the sensor's just not big enough um, for that background separation that just makes for a better vlogging experience in my opinion it really I, separates the subject from the background and just makes you know just looks much better but otherwise this thing is uh, pretty sweet no doubt about it so this is just a quick segment here i'm working on the full review for this camera and that will be coming out soon so if you want all the details all the lowdown you know every how the features work how this camera works i'm working on a couple different tutorial videos i just completed recording one for the focus modes and focus features so if you're looking to figure out how to use all the focus and stuff like that you'll see that soon so it looks like the bridge is under construction here for sure let me show you let me just zoom in here and that's what's so cool about this 
24 to 200 millimeter. I'm pretty far away. And you can zoom all the way in, so it makes it a really good video camera. Very high quality. And I'm just hand holding here. Looks like there's some dudes fishing. All right guys, so just to wrap up this RX100 Mark 7 vlogging test segment, I just wanted to show you the rig here. You can see the microphone is going into the mic input and then this Sony grip I have going into the USB multi-port and that allows me to control the recording, hitting the record button, taking a photo, zooming in and out, and so forth. So that's pretty much what I was using. Now all these items will be linked below, but just to let you know, the Sony grip goes for about $100. It's kind of expensive, but it does have the USB control. It turns into a little tripod. The grip itself has these little feet. They turn into a tripod, so you can, you can put this sucker down and use it as a tabletop recorder, which is kind of nice, for sure. And, you know, the fact that you can control the zoom and hit the record and take a photo with the little buttons on the grip make it very convenient. So it is kind of expensive at $98 in my opinion, but it is what it is. Now the microphone is fantastic. I've done enough recording with it to tell you that it works really well. I've used it in the field. It works great. And I've also used it in the studio recording like I'm recording right now. I'm not using it at the moment. I'm using my other microphone but I did use it on the A6400, which I'm recording with right now, in this similar environment, and it works great. It's definitely worth the money. It's only $59, and that will also be linked below. And you can see it hooks up quite nicely. This little bracket allows you to hook the microphone up because there's no hot shoe mount on the Sony RX100 Mark 7, so this bracket really solved the problem for me. It's only $10. It's not the greatest quality, but for $10, it definitely did the job. At the end of the day, just to summarize, the RX107 is a great vlogging option, but due to the smaller one inch sensor, I would prefer better separation to the background when, you know, as far as being the ultimate vlogging camera. However, the advantages to this are it's extremely lightweight, it's very easy to hand hold, especially when you're holding out like this and your shoulder starts to get tired, it's very easy with something like this. A larger sensor camera would be better, but it gets much heavier and it's much harder to hold. If somebody's filming for you, then it doesn't matter, but if you're holding it yourself, weight does matter. So this is a really good option. Now, the lens at a max aperture of f2.8 is a little bit slower. The RX100 Mark V has an f1.8 lens. Definitely significantly faster, but it doesn't have a mic input, which you really need if you want to do vlogging and have it sound good. You know, the, the on-camera mic is not near as good as this roadie mic is. So you just, you never get something for nothing. Right now, this is the best vlogging option as far as what Sony offers because of the mic input, the super lightweight, and things like that. If you're willing to deal with more weight, I would rather go with something like the A6400, the A6600, the new one, to get that image stabilization as well. You can also use a gimbal to help stabilize things and make it a little bit better. The other thing that I wanted to mention about the RX100 Mark 7 is it does not have a built-in ND filter. So if you want your shutter speeds to be at like 1 50th of a second because you're recording in 24p at 100 megabits, which is what I'm recording with right now, and that's what I used on the RX100 Mark 7 as well to get the best quality. 24, you know, frames per second is the standard. That's the, you know, that's what you should be pretty much be using. 
And so your shutter speed needs to be at 1 50th of a second. In super bright conditions, you can't always do that. So you're going to have to put on an ND filter on the front of this lens. They do make adapters that you can slide over the lens and have an ND filter, but having the built-in ND filter like the RX100 Mark 5A, Sony left it out on this model. You know, it just it just is what it is. There's always something, you know. The ultra compactness of this and the versatility of the RX100 Mark 7 is a really, really good option, in my opinion, for a lot of people. Not for everybody. Again, I would like, to, I would prefer to have more separation between me and the background. And in order to do that, you need a faster lens and a larger sensor. So if you're looking for that type of look, this is not going to work for you. If that really doesn't bother you and you're using a cell phone and you're going to upgrade to something and you want better quality, then this is a really good option. It's, it's worth considering. There's a couple other options out there too. Canon makes options, Panasonic makes options. Based on what I've done so far, this is definitely a good option. And as, as you can see from the testing I just did, it, you know, the results speak for themselves in my opinion, you know, so it is what it is. So at the end of the day, guys, I really hope you got something out of this quick video. The full review is coming soon for the Sony RX100 Mark 7. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you got something out of this video. I'd really appreciate it. And below the video in the description area will be all the links that I was mentioning for the different gear I was using for this quick video. Please have a great day, and I'll catch up with you next time.